So here's all five of my pouches together, starting with camera, EBC, electronics, first aid, and dop kit. Hello, I'm Taylor Weldon, Senior Editor of Cariology. Today I'm reporting in from our Cariology hot air balloon, and today I'm really excited to talk with you about one of my favorite topics, and that is pouches. How this journey of mine with pouches began was this 2013 article I wrote for Cariology about my DOP kit. And I thought it was really clever and really cool. I, I purchased this DOP kit, actually I got it for a gift, it was by Sandquist, and I packed it up with all my toiletry essentials, always had it packed, ready to go, I could just grab it, run out the door. And then I thought I was getting clever and I started putting you know, iPhone chargers in it, my sunglasses case, a little like miniature first aid kit and had all these things in the stop kit and this stop kit kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I'd be carrying this stop kit to like run to the post office because I might have needed a pen or something. It was this bag that would switch into all my different bags for EDC, for travel, for you know a light little trip, you know even a day trip. And I realized I didn't need to carry a toiletry kit for all of this stuff. So this is what kind of led to this idea of this modularity kit. I only bring what I need and I can leave what I don't need behind. Here's a few different examples of what I'm talking about. My last video I talked about travel bags and how I pack them. This is my Bellroy Transit Plus. Now for that, I'm gonna bring all my pouches, everything that I need, all the pouches that contain everything. But why would I need to carry everything when I'm just gonna be bringing my messenger bag to be taking photos for a day? I'm gonna need much less than I would for a full 16 days worth of travel. And then I'm gonna need even less if I'm just running to the store or running a quick errand, and I only need a few different things. So this pouch system makes it so I can basically tailor my pouches to whatever I need. I bring everything for this, slim down for the messenger, even less for the sling. Now I know some of you are going to ask, and I want to address the 10,000 pound elephant here in the hot air balloon. And that's why I'm not using Magpul DACA pouches. Now, not all of you know, some of you know, I'm actually the designer of these pouches at Magpul. And these are a lot of fun. I love these pouches. They have a use for many different things. And I still use them. I use them for like my camping adventures. This is my camping illumination kit. So this has a headlamp, flashlight, batteries, things like that. And this one is kind of general purpose. Really heavy duty, really strong stuff. And I do love them, but I recently switched over to Night Eyes' pouches and I'm gonna talk about why. Here's a little bit about the why I'm choosing to use the Night Eyes runoff pouches versus the Magpul DACA pouches. When I designed the Magpul DACA pouches, I used a YKK AquaGuard zipper and that is great. It's a great zipper. It's heavily water resistant, but the corners here, the way it's RF welded, it's not actually waterproof, meaning it can't be submerged. This thing can get super wet, it can be in a rainstorm, you can have it in your bag, everything will stay dry, but it's not waterproof, it's not submersible. And that's the key is submersible waterproof. Now the Night Eyes runoff pouches, I've been using these for a while. This is their, uh, their pocket, as they call it. it. Has a nice little topo uh, pattern here. In the, in the window. And the reason I switched over to these is because of the true zip zipper here. Now this zipper is 100% waterproof. And this made some big waves at Outdoor Retailer when it was released. This is 100% waterproof and it's actually easy to use. Versus some of the dry bags I've used in the past, you gotta really crank down on those zippers like in my Yeti backpacks or Yeti duffel bags. They're great zippers and they are waterproof, but this true zip it's fantastic. I think it's one of the best innovations to come into the gear industry for quite some time over the past several years. And I've been using these pouches, uh, I think it's four or five of them, for several months now, at least maybe almost two years. And they've been working flawlessly. The zipper, it works every single time. It's nice and smooth. And yes, it's 100% submersible. You can fill this with all your gear, put it underwater, and it will not get wet. So this is their runoff pocket. While I've been very happy with the, the Night Eyes runoff pocket pouches, I just discovered that they came out with these pouches here, and they're calling these their travel pouches. The difference is the window is 100% clear versus having this topo pattern in the window itself. It makes it a little bit more clear to see in there. Another bonus is you can actually put your phone in here and use the, the phone screen, you know, via touch sensitivity. Also, the travel 
pouch here in the back is slightly larger than the, the pocket. I do like that so I can organize a little bit easier and have a little bit more room in here to put my stuff. I've switched over since to, to these pockets, or sorry, these uh, travel pouches, and uh, there's no turning back for me. Now, just because the Night Eyes pouches work great for me doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna work great for you. It's all about experimenting and finding which pouches are gonna work best for your situation, for your needs, for your travels. Um, some other great examples are the Zabelroy pouch, uh, Evergoods pouch, Dan Matsuda, Tom Bin makes great pouches. There's an endless supply of them out there. So just experiment, take a look online, see what works best for you. I find that this particular situation with the Night Eyes pouches works best for me. Now I wanna to talk to you about my pouches and how I've broken them down into five different categories. The first one, being my camera pouch. Second one being my electronics charging pouch. Third one, this is my EBC, that's Echo Bravo Charlie emergency bug out pouch. Fourth one, first aid pouch. And fifth and final is my DOP kit. Now the beauty of this system is the modularity aspect. I switch backpacks maybe six, seven times a week, and I'm not joking. So with this system, I'm never gonna forget a pen, I'm never gonna forget my iPhone charger. It's all here in this system, and I can swap it out, go from one bag to another bag, and I'm always good to go. I'm not sure if you spotted this earlier, but I've put five different colored Night Eyes s beaners on the corners of my pouches here. What's cool is they do actually lock in place, so they're not gonna come undone. And for me, it's a really quick visual indicator if I'm looking down at my bag, you know, which, which pocket or which pouch I might be looking for if I'm just seeing the corner of it or the back of it or something like that. Obviously, I can see in the windows to tell what's in there, but I like having that. And I can use these for maybe like an impromptu uh, clothing line if I'm traveling. The uses for a carabiner are, are absolutely endless, so it's nice to have them. Let's talk about my camera pouch. This one's marked with the red Night Eyes carabiner. I keep this one pretty simple. I have a lens uh, blower, sensor blower, so I can uh, blow it off. I also have it wrapped in a rubber band so it doesn't take up a lot of room in the pouch. Most importantly, or at least I think, are two Canon batteries, two backups. And I always use the real deal Canon batteries. I don't want to use third party. Also label them just so I can remember which one is empty, which one is full depending on how much I'm shooting. There's also one camera, or sorry, one battery in the camera. Two additional memory cards in their cases. Nice little Apple dongle here. This plugs into my iPhone. If I'm out shooting photos and I need to upload a photo onto my phone and email it to someone quickly, I can pop in the uh, memory card, plug it into my iPhone, and I can email the photo right away. Got a lens uh, cloth here. Need one of those, obviously. And lastly, I have this nice cable here. This is USB-C to USB-A actually unplugs so I can actually charge my camera with this cable if these two batteries run out or actually all three batteries run out it's nice to have a little insurance policy that's everything in my camera pouch now we're going to talk about my electronics charging pouch this one's indicated with the blue carabiner and here I have an anchor iPhone charger cable pretty nice and simple I made it white so I could tell the difference between the next charging cable here. Now this is another anchor charger, but this is USB-C. This one will charge my uh, iPad, iPad Pro. And it's nice to have different charging options. My uh, fiance, she has a, um, a Samsung phone and that charges via USB-C. So I can let her borrow that if she forgot hers. Speaking of which, I have an anchor charger here and this has two plugs. So again, I can offer a second one or I can charge my iPad and my iPhone at the same time. People have been asking about this one. This is a Road Warrior travel adapter, and I love this thing. I've used lots of different travel adapters over the years, and this one does everything. It's super small, packs super flat. It's really affordable. You can find it on Amazon. I'll post the link below where you can find it, but it fits all sorts of different uh, plug adapters. There's probably ways I haven't even figured out how to use this yet, but this thing is my favorite travel adapter I've ever used. I've used this on multiple different continents, it always works. Love this thing. Now, I started carrying this because I've been traveling internationally and you don't have access to a charger all the time. So if you're taking a Lyft or an Uber or something, you can pop this into the back cigarette lighter of the, the car you're in, charge your phone for a second. Comes in nice and handy. Again, two ports. Also, big fan of Anchor. I have a, an Anchor power brick here. This thing's nice, has about 10,000 milliamps, if I'm not mistaken. Has, uh, again, this one has two charger ports here, so I can charge two devices at the same time. Love Anchor, love their stuff. Also, 
pair of headphones, just in case. I usually carry my um, AirPods, but you know, maybe they're gonna fail, maybe they run out of battery. Nice to have a little backup. Charger for the, uh, the Anchor power bank. Nice to have, that's I think a micro USB, USB-A. And now this is pretty clever here. I like this one. I, pu I purchased this on Amazon. And on this side here, you have a USB-A male to USB-C female situation going on here. And on this one, you have a USB-C male to USB-A female. And then also I have this tiny little leaf USB guy right here. I forget how many um, uh, gigabytes this holds, but it's quite a bit. And I have encrypted backups of my passport and other sensitive information on this thing, just in case. What's cool is they all join together like a little transformer. They stay nice in place. And that's everything in my electronics pouch. Okay, now on to one of my favorite pouches is the EBC pouch, designated by the, the dark gray Night Eyes carabiner. Have a nice little battery case here. This holds one CR123 battery and then three CR2 batteries. What's a CR2 battery, you might be wondering. We'll get to that. This thing's really nice. Keeps all your batteries from moving around. Nice and organized. I have an ExoTac waterproof lighter case, which just holds a regular Bic lighter. This thing's really cool. You can flip up this little, little arm thing and keep the lighter down to use it as a candle. It's a nice little feature. You can hold down the, uh, the flame use it as a torch. But it's always nice to be able to make fire wherever you go. I've never had this taken away from me in any country I've traveled to. Always gotta have a way to make fire. I have a tube of crazy glue. You never know what you're gonna need this for. Maybe the soles of your shoes are coming undone. Maybe you need to repair something. Crazy glue, highly recommended bringing one of these. Now this is an old backpackers trick that I learned. This is an old like credit card or gift card or something and it's wrapped with Gorilla Tape. There's quite a bit of Gorilla Tape on here. I mean, it's probably, I, I can't remember last time I measured, like six feet worth of Gorilla Tape wrapped around. What's nice is it doesn't take up a whole bunch of room like if you're gonna bring a big roll of Gorilla Tape. Really nice and slim. Just, un, you can unpeel it right here and use it for whatever you need. Mini Altoid mints, just because you need those, obviously. It's a fun one here. So this is a roll of Vectrin thread. And I found this little case, I think on Amazon, but you flip it up and you can access the Vectrin thread here. Now, this stuff is just kind of full on for emergencies, you know? You can use it as a clothing line, you can use it as a tripwire, I, I don't know. You can use it for lots of different things. You can even use it for a really durable uh, sewing thread. This stuff has like a break strength of several hundred pounds. It's probably overkill, but I love having it. It's come in handy before. Like I said, I've made a clothesline out of it. It's really nice to have, really small too. Now we are talking about batteries earlier. I have a Myshunt Aeon MK3 here. This is the aluminum version. And I travel with this, I leave the head unscrewed so I can screw it on. And this thing is really, really bright. Well, I didn't have it on, but this thing is super bright. It has three different modes, so I can use this, you know, for whatever situation I need. I actually use this light when I was hiking around on a mountain in uh, Hong Kong up on Victoria Peak in the pitch black. This thing really saved the day. I love this flashlight, look them up. Next up, I have a Big Idea Designs titanium pen. And in this pen, I've put a uh, space pen cartridge in here. Actually, I uh, wrote an article about this. I believe this pen is no longer being made, but it's titanium and it's awesome and it works and it will always write. Speaking of always writing, now, if you're gonna have a pen, you need something to write on. I have field notes. This comes in handy. If you wanted to take down some notes, make a sketch, remember something. I carry this because it's nice and bright, super thin, affordable. I love this thing. And this is a funny one. I carry a bunch of these stickers, Austin Facial Hair Club stickers. I use these as gifts, particularly in the Philippines. They love this sticker. There's probably about a hundred different uh, motorcycles and jeepneys that have this sticker on it. And whenever I go visit them, they say, do you have any more stickers? So nice to have a little sticker. You can bring whatever sticker you want, wherever, whatever makes sense to you. One Sharpie, gotta have a Sharpie. And in here, I also have a keychain. I keep a spare house key on here because I usually travel with my keys, but sometimes I've gotten home and I realized that I didn't have my keys, my fiance wasn't home, I wasn't able to get in the house. So it's nice to have a, a spare. I have a titanium emergency whistle. 
Can't tell you what this is for because it's for an emergency. You never know. A handcuff key. Not, we won't even talk about that. And a, uh, a Gerber shard. This is really nice. It has lots of different tools on it. Bottle opener, Phillips head screwdriver, um, a little pry bar. It's uh, airline friendly. You can travel anywhere with it. I've never had this even looked at before. So really nice to have just to do some basic stuff with. I keep a little patch of tenacious tape. This is great for folks who have um, waterproof uh, like Gore-Tex shells. If you ever get a hole in it, a little cut in it, you can cut off a little square. I've already done that. And repair your jacket while you're on the fly. Nice to have. Next up, zip ties. Gotta have zip ties. Who knows for what, but you have them, you can repair something, definitely bring zip ties. And the last thing I have in here, and I learned this from traveling around the US, you never know what cities are still gonna require coins for their uh, for their parking meters. So I carry about, a, I don't know, $1.50, almost $2 in here of, of quarters. And it's nice to have, you pull up to a spot right after the airport with your rental car, and you need you need to park somewhere, you don't wanna get towed, they don't take the credit card thing, you got quarters. And that is everything in that pouch. Okay, the pouch that started it all, my DOP kit. It's designated with the green Night Eyes Espino here. And in here, we have a stick of deodorant, cause you need deodorant. I have a folding brush, pretty trick, pops out. It's for my beard, go figure. I put some pomade, I actually switched it and I put it into a smaller little tin here. So that way I don't have to carry the large tin of pomade. Nice little trick. In this Ziploc bag, I have some earplugs. Now these are for the airplane. I don't really get uh, my ears popping on the airplane, but I have, so might as well keep them just in case. And these are just regular earplugs. So if there's someone around you that's snoring, you can just pop these in and you get a good night's sleep. I have travel toothpaste, of course, travel toothbrush. Super generic one. I just got this at the grocery store or something. I have some cool Japanese Nail clippers here, tweezers. You never know when you might need these. This is cool, I just got this, but I've had something similar and it actually broke, so I upgraded this. This is a Night Eyes little key clip thing. This is great for when you need just enough light to walk to the bathroom and there might be someone with you or in a bed near you, you don't wanna wake them up, turn the lights. So you have this just to create enough light to walk around, not bump your knee into a bed corner or something like that. Pretty simple, small, does the trick. I have some sunscreen because I am fair skin and I burn to a crisp. Basic comb. I have a tiny little vial of beard oil. Smells good. Keeps my beard hydrated, especially like if I'm in a desert scenario or somewhere where it's really cold. Here, this is super important. In a Ziploc bag, I keep some backup toilet paper because I learned this the hard way. Uh, certain public toilets in certain countries don't have toilet paper, like Japan in the middle of the summer. That was fun. But fortunately, I had a little backup kit and I was able to use it. I think it was actually paper towels. In the same vein, I have two little packets of dude wipes. These are helpful as well. Now, I carry a bottle of Gold Bond. I actually switched it into this bottle. I think I got this bottle at REI or something. And this is good for if it's a hot, humid climate and you're walking around and you don't want to chafe. Highly recommended. And around this bottle, I've wrapped gaffer's tape. What's cool about gaffer's tape is it doesn't leave residue behind. So you can unpeel this. And the reason I have this is I was staying in some hotel where I couldn't access the cable for the, or sorry, the plug for the, um, the bedside alarm clock. And uh, this stuff, you can peel it off, put it over the alarm clock or any really bright light that's bothering you. You can sleep like a baby. Yes, you could wear a an eye mask, but I find this is easier to cover up the situation versus having to block out your own eyes and be uncomfortable. And finally, I have a little tube of chapstick, but the thing is, I actually don't use chapstick. I don't need it. Maybe it's because of my mustache, covers my, my lips or something. So inside of here, I actually have secret rolled up $100 bill and a $20 bill. Now this will get you out of a pinch, you know, in any situation that maybe your bags are stolen or something. And I figure if someone's rifling through my stuff, they're not going to expect a chapstick container to carry money. Nice little backup insurance policy, highly recommended. And that is everything in my DOP kit. And this is my first aid kit, designated by the orange Night Eyes carabiner. You'll also notice this pouch is blue or turquoise or something compared to the gray of the other pouches. Now this is really great because you can quickly visually identify this pouch. And if you're helping someone else in an emergency situation and you need to access this bag and you need to tell someone, 
hey, get the first aid kit out of my bag, you can say the blue pouch. Really quick and easy to see. I recommend for your first aid kit, make it a different color or visually different than your other pouches. It's very helpful. Now in this pouch, I keep this pretty basic. I have some alcohol wipes. I have a selection of band-aids here. I also keep some water filtration tablets. This is if I'm traveling somewhere where the water might not be safe and I need to drink water. Nice little insurance policy. I also keep some emergency in here. This is great for if you're dehydrated, you need some electrolytes, makes water taste good. Little Ziploc bag full of gloves, keeps those nice and organized. Maybe about four or five pairs in here. Neosporin with pain relief. This is great. I have some quick clot combat gauze. I have an Israeli bandage. I have some Tums. These are a lifesaver if you're traveling to international locations and you like to eat the weird food that I like to eat. Lifesaver. And I also have a small pill bottle. Now in here I keep Dayquil, NyQuil, Ibuprofen, Advil, Benadryl, Sudafed, everything that I think that I will need. If you have medications, it'd be good to put those in here as well. But basically I have all the pills that I could possibly need for what I need. And that is everything in my first aid pouch. So thank you for watching this pouches video. Hopefully you learned something. There's one last thing I wanna talk about. Next week, I'm gonna be using all of these pouches to travel up to Bozeman, Montana. I'm going to be visiting with a brand called Mystery Ranch and another brand called Evergoods. You might've heard of them. So if you'd like to stay on the loop of what's happening, click that subscribe button, be the first to know. Also give us a comment, give us a like, tell us what you think. Thanks for watching.